Hey there, YouTube. Uh, this is gonna be my first, uh, live broadcast from, uh, here in Tornado Alley. Uh, giving you an update on the smoke shop. Hey, that's about better. Give you an update on the, uh, smoke shop. I put some extra lights up here for you. To, uh, try to make this video not so dark. Uh... I did end up getting my tobacco license. I now have a Missouri State tobacco license. I have uh, two Missouri County merchant licenses. I have one in Johnson County, one in Pettis County, and uh, where I can resell there. Uh, I have a state tax ID number, which we're getting ready to use for the first time doing our taxes this year so uh, I just thought I'd give you a look at some of the progress that we're making if the uh, if I can keep the brightness here of some of the stuff that we have I just set it all out down here so I could kind of get an eyeball on what we have left we have been selling a lot of stuff on Craigslist eBay Amazon <clears throat> and we have sold several thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars uh, worth of stuff. So now I am currently not so much worried about selling on eBay and Amazon anymore. We are uh, in the process of starting to restock our supplies for the store. Uh, my baby's mama came by the other day and said that she... Was wanting to move. It's time to do her dreams or whatever. Well, it ain't happening. Uh, I'm staying right here in uh, this part of Missouri. And I'm going to open up not a pipe shop, not a smoke shop. I'm going to open up a head shop with a drive-up window. And we're going to sell uh, cigarettes and alcohol through the drive-up window. And... Uh, I plan on having that probably isolated from uh, from the rest of the building. But, I mean, we have a lot of little cheaper, cheap stuff like this. It's like, you may see my face a lot on this video because this tablet only has a camera on one side. Little small, five and a half inch uh, Bob Marley uh, hookahs or, or water pipes like this. Uh, I have a good supplier. I can get these for uh, I can get these for a three ninety nine a piece. These little silicone uh, concentrate containers. I can get these for ninety nine cent. The uh, stash bolts I can get for ninety nine cents. Look at this. Here I may have to actually uh may have to actually uh, turn this around so uh, the light is more better suited. This these didn't have a name, but uh, I call these uh, radiators. They are a glass hand pipe, and as you can see, they are full of liquid, and so they stay very cool. So I got a couple of these over here. We have a couple hundred of the standard uh, glass hand pipes. You got to go on, Dad's making a video. <clears throat> uh, these here are called smoking systems. Have the little bat in them like that. Got that kind of wooden stuff. Kind of hard to close it one handed. Let me see if I can actually manage to set this down. And let's see what it looks like from here. Yes, there you go. Okay. Both hands are free. So, I got this little item the other day. It's kind of cute. I've never seen these in a shop before. <clears throat> this is a toilet toilet bowl. You see the lid there flips up. 
and uh, the screws in here. This screws onto here. Just put your tobacco in here. Smoke a bowl. Thought that was pretty cool. I'm just gonna leave those screwed into that. They're easier to keep track of. Here is a item that's really a hot seller. These uh, ink pens here. We saw a lot of these. <clears throat> Got a lot of uh, nice pieces of glass like this. See if I can get you a view on the brand right here. This is Magic Buzz. Nice medium weight glass. Glass on glass. Gonna mess with it. The ice cube catcher plotted out on the bottom for a lot of bubbles and makes a nice little display when you smoke it. But these in the store, I get these fairly cheap, I get these for 20. Uh, I really want to get a lot of people coming into the shop. So when I first open the door, these sell for $39. So I will double my money up. If I got four of these, I sell them all. I can go back and get eight, sell them all, get 16. So that's how that works. Then we have some uh, lower quality, cheaper pieces, like this little percolator. You see here, this is a percolator. It's got the ice cube catcher right here. It's about 10 inches tall. Don't know too much about it. These sell for $19, or just say a $20 bill, plus tax. So that's pretty good. Now. I don't know how long or how much battery that it, it, this thing is going to do. So I don't know how long I can stream this or not. I don't even think there's anybody watching, but it is streaming live. I think, I don't know if that's live to my YouTube channel or what that is, but I got this little sunglass rack. It's just two pieces there. It sets up on the counter. You can put sunglasses like. I have a bunch of sunglasses over there. Like this. You just take them out of the plastic. Put them on the rack. So. Got the sunglasses. And then to take it apart. Just like that. So. That's pretty cool. But then. I want to go to my local Dollar Tree. See this basket right here. Full of pieces of hand glass, like this here. Some of the variation in pieces, like this here. Uh, four ninety nine. This is set on the counter by the register with lighters and blocks of lighters and stuff like that there with it. Then uh, we got other stuff. There's a lot of people that collect coins. These are the Donald Trump silver pieces. I got a couple of these because, like I say, I don't want to sell just smoking accessories. I want to sell a wide variety of goods. So there's that. Then we got stuff like these. Our snuff dispensers called snuff bullets. The bottom just screws off of this. Put your snuff in there. Screw the bottom back on real tight so I don't open in your pocket. Got a little ball valve that rotates right here with a hole in it. They go, the hole goes halfway through it. So you dump your snuff in it, turn it over like this, cover one side of your nose, and you get your snuff. So I don't think these are a very big seller. I don't think very many people use snuff nowadays. But I got those. I ordered these cash bolts. These were only $1.99 a piece. I couldn't figure out why they were so cheap. Because the bolt's metal and the rest of it's made out of plastic. These are total junk. So I'll be lucky if I can get my $1.99 a piece back out of these. If I can, I will. Then we have some, uh, I'm not going to show you everything. These are called hookahs. Tobacco hookahs, mini hookahs. 
you can see that has hemp leaves on that one. And this one has uh, red flame. Uh, it being my store, I can pretty much stay within the guidelines and sell whatever I want. But uh, far as incense go, I've had my experience with a lot of incense, like real crappy incense, like these. They don't smell good in the box. They don't smell good when they're burning. The only good thing about this is the little box has a uh, metal insert here. So you just stick the incense into the box and light it. But these are terrible incense. So the only incense I am going to uh, sell in my store. Yeah, baby, blunt effect. I'm going to sell the uh, blunt effect 12 inch. I'm going to sell the blunt effect large. Uh, I think they're 18 inches, and then I'm going to sell the Blunt Effect spray. Oh, man, I wish you could smell that. That is really good, the Blunt Effect. Uh, going to also sell stuff like uh, pocket knives. Let me show you this one here. Comes in a little cardboard box. Just a little, little butterfly knife like that. Uh. I pay $5.99 a piece for these. The It's a liability selling these knives. So I am probably will uh, burn these out. Try to double my money up on it. I'm really hoping that I don't sell very many of them. I'd actually like to uh, get rid of the knives. Unless I make a lot of money. Then I would continue just to buy more and more and more. Uh, got some really weird shit. Like this little solar. Igniter to uh, light your cigarette by the sun. I did try one. You know I did. You can see it's already open. And uh, it worked fantastic. But it was uh, quite bright, quite sunny that day. Uh, check this out. This is the hot selling item. Sell the shit out of these on eBay. This is a Pokemon uh, herb grinder. I keep one in my kitchen. I like to cook. So when I make spaghetti or lasagna. I grind up my parsley. So, that's what that's for. Oh, uh, the uh, large selection. We're going to have a very large selection of herb grinders. Now, I live in Kansas City, Missouri. So, yeah! Chiefs, baby! So, if uh, I got a couple of these left, if uh, any of you people in the city, Chiefs lovers, want these, these are uh, 25 a piece. So, got two of those left. And I got a bunch of these uh, little cheap plastic grinders. Sell for a buck or two a piece. Got the uh, Duracell battery. Bills in or whatever you want to stash. Now, just like this, thrown in your car console, uh, you know they're going to be looking at that, thinking, hmm, and get a closer look at it and maybe figure it out. But you take something like this, put whatever you want to put in there, and put it in the back of your boom box. Yeah, ain't going to find it. Comes in different sizes B, C, A. You know, check out this beautiful TV right here. Thick and rim, black, matching base. This is a double 99 hole honeycomb ice cube catcher. A detachable, changeable, glass on glass bowl. This right here is called the uh, 50 caliber. This neckline right here, 50 caliber. Uh, there's no name brand on this, so it's not like Magic Buzz or anything, but that's a pretty nice pipe right there. I, I see no reason why I can't pull 55 bucks out of it. And still be way, way, way below the price of everybody else. Now, when it comes to hand pipes, you got to have a nice uh, variety of different kinds of stuff. For different kinds of people. You know, we can do glass. We can do metal. 
we can do wood, or we can do aluminum. So, I just got that kind of stuff set up here. Then I got these little cases, like this, with the keychain, battery powered, uh, breathalyzer. Uh, just take it with you on your keychain when you go to the bar if you drink. That's got LED light up on it where it says 0.02%, uh, which is uh, yellow. It's kind of a caution line in Missouri as far as and being able to legally drive. And 0 0.05, which is a red light, which means, brother, don't get behind that wheel. So I sell these. And. Uh, Little, little miniature glass one hitters. I got that earlier on the uh, smoking systems. We have a bunch of these, uh, all supposed to be made out of recycled pallet wood, but I don't, I've never seen a pallet that look, looks like this, you know. But so I have multiples of the smoking units. They do all come with a free uh, aluminum bat. These are a hot selling item here. It's a syndicate card, a herb grinder card. It's stainless steel, safe on your fingers. Take your tobacco or whatever you want to grind up and just. Rub Rub it across it and uh, falls back through. Got the V syndicate, dollar signs, eight ball, scorpion, yin yang, uh, rolling stone, iron cross, and a hemp leaf. So we got those. We got that kind of stuff. Uh, we got shitloads of. Different earphones, the zipper earphones, the glow-in-the-dark earphones, so we're going to have a bunch of earphones in the store where you can come in and get earplugs anywhere from two to eight bucks. So, all sales are final. <clears throat> this is a controversial item which we're thinking about not selling no more. This is a oil burner. You simply take your squirt bottle of oil of scented oil uh, and put it in through the hole and then take your lighter and heat the oil and then exhale blow through the unit which the oil vapors will come out this hole like this do not inhale the liquid oil uh, air freshener and when it's gone, heat it up some more, put some more in there, heat it up, and blow. And then your scented oils come out of the hole. But there's a lot of people that say that they use these for illegal purposes. But everything in our store is sold for, I'll put this one up here since I blue dry it. It's so far tobacco uses only. But I want to have something for everybody. So you can see we got the uh, plastic boomerang. Unfortunately, the only colors we have are pink and red, and I only bought only bought like uh, five of these, and I was selling these for five dollars a piece at the sale. You can see here sold a couple of the boomerangs, so that's that. Then I was selling on eBay, and I've noticed that in the other smoke shops they have a lot of little. I was showing you this earlier. A lot of little plastic baskets like this here to uh, put pieces of glass in. Well, if you buy a small piece of glass like this and you don't want it getting broke, where you can pay uh, $4 for this and you don't want it getting broke, you got this nice little case here with a strap in it. Got a nice little net right here. You can just slide your little 
pipe right in there, like this, and that'll hold it in place. Or you can put it over here like this, that'll hold it in place, and you've got a pocket to put extra screen, uh, your tops, uh, rolling tobacco can go right here, and it zips up nice and tight, and nobody can see it. Now you throw this on the dash of your car. That's just like a purse. They need a search warrant to look in there. Now, if you give them permission to search the car, then they can take this off the dash and look in it and give you a hard time. Even though we know that there's nothing in it other than tobacco residue, they can still book you, process you, and whatever. So you want to keep your top's tobacco right there. So anyway, on these baskets like this, I get these from my local Dollar Tree, and I noticed that I need to board the car. I want to have separate bins for, uh, for separate items. Like, I buy these, I buy this, these items in multiples. So you can see right here in this bag, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven small checkered hand pipes, and I don't want to have them in the bag or just lay one in there. I want to take all these and throw them into one of them plastic baskets and then put a price on front of the basket and throw the bag in the trash. So, these will go in a plastic basket. Oops, sorry about that, buddy. But I have multiple items like the oil burners. Those need to go in their own separate basket. These are, they used to be called Sneakatoes, Zeppelins, you could call them whatever you want. I think I'm going to go Sneakatoke or Zeppelins on these. Like I get these by the bag like this. I get them, this is a dozen. So, I get these by the dozen and then just, these are in individual bags, which keeps them from getting scratched up. Here, I'll show you. Get the, I get the bag of a dozen, right? Hands ain't wanting to work. Woo! Reflexes are, though. They come in multiple colors with only the individual bags. And what these little bags do, you know how you get dust around your house. These individual bags help keep these, this piece that people are putting in their mouth sterile until they can get it home. And put their lips around it. So, multiple items like these are going to require multiple baskets to store them in, like this here. Let's see what else we have multiple items. For. Oh, yeah, here's something else. So, I figure I would probably go to the Dollar Tree and I really want all my baskets. I don't know if I want them to all match, I really don't want them all white. I'm thinking multi-color basket so when I have a black wooden hand pipe like this one here I put it in a white basket or a yellow basket and they stand out quite well well as you can see like I said I buy in multiples so I do have the hookup I have several connections for the hookup a lot of my stuff comes from China uh, I still get stuff from Taiwan, Japan, Hong Kong, and now, thank you, Malaysia. A lot of stuff from Malaysia, too. So, uh, we got broadcasting from the storage room. We have little rhinestone set pipes like these. We have the mushroom pipe, mushroom keychain pipes. These are a pretty good seller. They sell really cheap. Uh, these sell for uh, $4 a piece. Get them for a buck. I save a lot of money. I buy them cheap. I can sell them to you cheaper and still make money to keep my doors open at the store. But I have a whole bunch of stuff like that over here. Then, as far as sunglasses go, at the flea market, at the swap meet, at the carnivals, city fairs, you know, I get these glasses, 
and put them out on the table with a couple signs, man. And I could sell these some bitches at the carnival all day long for $10 a pair. And no, these are bicycle sunglasses. These are made for bicycle riders, but uh, they're still pretty nice, you know. They're not Dollar Tree. They're not Dollar Store. These are some medium quality glasses that I can buy cheap and sell to you cheap. So, that's pretty good. I'm going to put this cover back on because I don't want this to, you know, get scratched up. But, you can sell a lot of other stuff, too. You know, we got stuff over here on the shelf. we got head scarves. Kind of like what I'm wearing now. And we got those old school switchblade combs. we got Ziploc bags. we got, uh, Hats, chain purses with butterflies and elephants on it, $100 bill wallet, 99 cent fold up knife to do your wallet. Yeah, so. <sighs> yeah, monster. It keeps going poor connection, bad connection. But on this monster, you just give it a twist. There you go. Screw it back on. I have a lot of trouble with these saves, though. I don't know why, but I just really do. I don't feel that. They work as good as they should. But the finger gets in the way. I had carpal tunnel surgery, so I can't feel. But, you know, this large monster can has just as much storage space in, space in it as this can. But I can get twice as much out of this can as I can this right can. <clears throat> These are what the kids call Legos. They're just silicone, non-adhesive containers. You take your earrings out, take your nose studs out, your lip ring or whatever that you want to store. You can keep one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of earrings in there. You can put your, and this larger, longer one right here is for your tongue ring. And, uh. You can put a little isopropyl alcohol in there with it. Let it soak overnight. Snap the lid on. It's not going to spill. And if you have multiple units, they call them Legos. You see, they lock together. $10 a piece out of these. Don't sell a whole bunch of them, but once in a while when somebody comes in, I like to have something that reminds them of, hey, man. Back when I was in such and such, or back when I was in school, you know, back when I was in school, this is where it was at right here. It's got a strong, heavy plastic base that is glued on. You have a medium-sized average, that's big enough bowl. You can fit a half a cigarette in there. And you got this molded plastic top, so you're not on this. That snaps on there, and it should have a hole. It does, but unfortunately, I don't like where the hole is. But I'd rather have it out here, but you know, I didn't make it. So that's a nice. Oh, this is called acrylic plastic. Oh, be pretty tough. Drop is just not that. Not drop free. We got this here, which is a cheaper molded plastic with a bigger base. And as you can see, it's a skull with a small aluminum changeable metal bowl on it. You can't put enough tobacco in there for a mouth. So you can put a bigger bowl on here, which we will sell the accessories and other stuff too. 
maybe you're not into the plastic or the acrylic, and you, you know, your favorite color is purple. Girls love purple. I know, some of you guys out there love purple too. This is a ice catcher for the percolator. And the bowls on these are fairly cheap. But what you're getting for $20, it's, it's hella nice. So, I can get an upgrade on these. Which you have what is called a sleeve. Alright. Sleeve goes in with an O-ring on it, like so. Then you have an insert. This one here has already got an O-ring on it. And this just drops down in there like that. So, that's all good. This is, once again, this part's called the sleeve. This part's called the insert. For tobacco use only. So there you go. <clears> Thank <throat> right there. We got spike dog collars. We have the, in case you want to test your kids, we carry the assured marijuana home drug test. We sell these for a dollar. Because if you suspect your kids of smoking marijuana, or something like that, we want you to find out, and we want you to be able to find out, so we sell you these for a dollar. This top of this rack here has a variety of different pipes in it. Look at this cute one for you, for you people that had band or are in a band. This saxophone, this is actually a pipe. The, uh, the reeds on it don't work, but they're on there, so that's a nice little pipe. And like I said, if you're in a band, you got the yin yang guitar. But what's great about this one, it's got that lid right there to screw onto this so you don't spill your tobacco. And then, uh, you know, other little hand pipes and stuff like that. The, uh, these are fairly cheap. These are selling for $20 at local head shops. I have about 15 of these, and I plan on ordering maybe another 20 or 30 of these at least. They're just a little cheap hookah. That's all they are. It's a little full of water. And, uh, you know, we've got some badass hats like this with uh, palm leaves on palm tree leaves on it. Looks like something, looks like something some old man would wear in Florida. And, uh, you know, this is a badass hemp hat, actually, is what, what it is. I think those are supposed to be hemp plants. And you can see right here, I'm selling them motherfuckers for $9. Got one there. Then I had about 40 of these. Wookie. You know, it's the Wookie. Looks for the silver sticker. Yeah. They got the embroider on them. Snap back, baby. Like that. Adjustable back. Smart tag on there. Look at here. Ten dollars. I've got. I got about seven or eight of those. Then for the people that like that blue bandana look, got the blue bandana hat. Look at that. Bam. Five bucks. But those are my sales price. Those those are not. Those are not my shop price. I have a lot of little stuff like this for uh, gay pride. Uh, wall banners, flags, glasses, mugs, ink pens, coffee cups, and parade flags. This is called a parade flag. Uh, let's say you buy a, you buy a bunch of smoking screens, right? Fuck, here's a little damage from being back down, but smoking screens. You get a little cardboard. Container like this with five screens for a buck. Right? There are 500 packages, I believe. Even if, even if there's 100 of packages in here for a buck, you're getting $100 a box out of these. These are $9. That's, 81, that's $91 profit.
It is wall stash. You know, it looks like an outlet. I paid five for this. I think I was selling it for five. Oh, here's another thing I did. These bags. I bought a bunch of these bags. I think I paid $1.99 a piece for these large ones. But these are nice padded bags. So what I did, I put a bunch of these together. And I hand picked a bunch of nice pipes. Look at this double bow octopus. And I take this double bow octopus. I put it in one of these nice bags. With the drawstring and the lock. And that's 40, 40 to $50 on a Friday. That's $50 on a Friday night. Got the uh, pipe wristband, steam roller, digital scale. Uh, got the uh, blunt over there, instant burner. Got the uh, U powered, USB powered foot warmers and uh, take out eating, keep warm, health care. These are just like shoe inserts that go in the bottom of your shoe so uh, keep your feet warm. I don't know how long a battery pack will work, but I guarantee it's better than nothing. Uh, over here, let me pick the camera up for a little bit for you. As you can see, I have a wide variety of jewelry, yin yang bracelet, sterling silver uh, 925 chains, vibrating tongue rings, piercings. Uh, my buddy makes these with skulls on them. Uh, Kabakons, lighter watches, biker bracelets, studded bracelets, uh, urns, uh, Tibetan silver, silicone water pipes, bracelets, stash containers. I got quite a bit of stuff. I plan on separating all the jewelry like that. I plan on separating all that stuff into a... Got the glue off of it. They're nice and clean. You can put whatever you want to in there. Screw the tip back on. Bam, I'm selling these on eBay. These are the old Sharpies. The new ones are plastic. The new ones, this part does not thread on. This one, sorry, this is old school. Uh, 2016 aluminum uh, tube Sharpie. With a plastic thread on tip. The new ones are, they're not round, they're flat, and the tip presses into them, and you cannot make a stash can out of them. So, I'm selling these. I've got 24, i got 25 of them. I'm keeping one of them. i got 24 of them. And uh, here's another little glass box right here. And I'm supposed to go to my local Kmart. And let's see here. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, yeah, right here. This rack has three levels. You can see down here I have all these uh, types of socks and stuff in it. Tube scarves and hand pipes and stuff. So I'm getting another one of those. I have this shelf, that shelf, uh, a bunch of plastic totes. Here I got to go through that has stuff like Cheech and Chong's big bamboo album and stuff in it. So I am seriously getting on the smoke shop out right now. I'm just buying and shopping, buying and shopping, buying and shopping and setting stuff back and looking and, and buying more stuff and trying to resell it and, and filling up these. I want to fill this box completely up. I want to fill up the adult novelty box over here. That's right. I said adult novelties. We also are going to sell adult novelties stuff like. Stuff like this, which is a, uh, a, a gag ball leather. We got stuff like 
cat of nine tails. This is a whip. A lot of people like that stuff. We have personal massagers that look like lipstick and mini bullets and stuff like that. So, well, this is my first live stream. I'm going to get off here and see how it goes. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to watch it. I don't, I don't know. Oh, one more thing. Here's the uh, last rotary that I bought from a store that was going out here in our local town. I paid 10 bucks for that. And it had little cardboard boxes on it with necklaces on it. Little cheap $5.99 kid necklaces. You can drop a sign down each side on the top. So I'm going to put something in that. Something so where that can sit on the cabinet by the cash register. So where people aren't really going to want to shoplift whatever's on it. Because all this kind of stuff is going to be back behind the cabinets. Uh, I'm going to have a... Uh, you break it, you buy it policy. So where we have these foam mats like this. So let's say customer says, oh, that's a that's a really nice hand pipe right here. Can I see this one? My employees will pull it out, place it onto the hand, onto the mat, and step back. So if they manage to somehow pick it up and drop it, they buy it. Plain and simple. All right. This is You Know Who. Uh, giving you the update on the smoke shop. Let you know that I'm still buying and setting stuff back. You got to think of what it takes to buy all of this stuff. It takes money. I'm a family man. I want to be a businessman. So I have to buy all this stuff. It ain't just given to me. So you, you just keep watching. I'll keep making videos. For now, y'all, peace. God bless. I'm trying to finish out how to stop it. Yeah, I want to stop streaming. <laughs>